Since 2003, the game platform Steam has amassed over 120 million monthly users and 50,000 games available for download. If you use Steam a lot, you may have noticed one of your friends playing a game called Space War. It has no description, no icon, and doesn't even appear on the Steam marketplace. So why does one of Steam's most played games not exist? <laughs> Believe it or not, our story begins all the way back in 1962 with a man named Steve Russell, or Slug as he came to be known as. Russell developed the initial version of Space War in just under six weeks while at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and it only spread from there. Not only did other students and faculty at the school both play and modify the game, but it began spreading to other areas as well. Before he knew it, Russell's game was everywhere. On a side note, Space War is credited as possibly being the first ever digital video game, but that has never been officially proven. Now that's all fine and good, but what exactly does this have to do with a secret Steam game over 60 years later? Well actually, the answer is simpler than you may think. Space War was added to Steam as a way to test and demonstrate the Steamworks API, which includes things like networking, voice chat, and multiplayer. It was never meant to be played per se, but exists to show game developers the possibilities of Steamworks implementation, which is why it remains in this hidden state. Up until now, everything makes sense. An old game being used for testing Steamworks code, the general public has no need for it, so it remains hidden on the platform. But this is where things start to get muddy. If Space War only exists on Steam to be a test program, why does it harbor so many users? How does this hidden app manage to make it to the top 100 titles on the platform? Depending on what you do online, it may or may not surprise you that the reason Space War has so many users is because it's used in pirated copies of Steam games in order to circumvent Steam's protection. That may sound odd, but it comes down to how Steam handles online services with their games as well as how Steam piracy works. All Steam games use something called DRM, or Digital Rights Management. It's basically a way for Steam to ensure that you own the game that you're trying to play. For example, if I wanted someone to play my copy of Portal 2, you'd think I could just copy the game files and send them over, but that doesn't work. Steam detects the game, checks the user's licenses, and doesn't allow the game to launch due to them not having ownership of that title. Now of course, pirated Steam games do exist, so there is a way around this. The most common tactic used by hackers is something called a Steam emulator. It's basically a program that pretends to be Steam, but isn't connected to any online Steam services, so Steam isn't able to see if you own the game, and the game is able to launch. The problem with these emulators is that they, as I said, cut off all online connectivity, so online multiplayer doesn't work. But why am I telling you all this? Well, as you may have predicted, many hackers use Space War to allow these pirated games to access the online servers. Since Space War is automatically owned by every single Steam account, it was the perfect choice. They essentially trick Steam into thinking that this illegal copy of a game is actually Space War, so that the copy has access to all the online features of Steamworks. This then allows players to have access to multiplayer servers, Steam friend connectivity, and other online features. Interestingly enough, from my research, mentions of Space War as a Steamworks test go back before 2011, but the first mention I can find of Space War in the context of piracy was a Steam community post from 2014, but it's very possible that it was used for this purpose far before that. There's no reason that this is going to stop for now, so if you see your friend playing Space War on Steam, now you know why. So that was the story of Space War, and I hope you enjoyed it. I know this was a shorter video, but hopefully it taught you something interesting. And if you liked it, make sure to click like and subscribe as well to support my channel. Thanks so much for watching, and peace out.